This video is sponsored by Skillshare. I managed to sneak up to some, some common deals. I cannot move a muscle almost. Hello. It's like, what? Who is this guy looking at me? I'm going to leave her alone now. A couple of days ago, I was looking for the dipper at the regular spot where I saw it last year. I spent an hour or so scouting, seeing if I can see some sign of the birds. I saw some droppings, but no bird. No other signs of the bird. So I traveled to another place where I've seen the dipper before and no birds at all there. I had an hour, maybe one and a half hour before the sun set and I went to a lake where I photographed the common teal in back in 2019 and I was not prepared to see anything because I didn't have any high hopes and uh, therefore I just took my binocular with me, my 500 millimeter with the Z9 and uh, yeah, just to go and look. I left everything else in the car, but luckily I got my GoPro camera in my pocket. So here I am again. I'm going to see if it's still there. Uh, and uh, I, this time <laughs> I got my camouflage blanket with me uh, as well. Only see a tough to duck. I'm here where I'm going to spend the next couple of hours. We're going to use the 500 millimeter together with the 1.4 teleconverter. So I have a little reach though. This common teal is a small stock that we have in Norway and uh, it's good to have some focal length. I have this uh, cam shield from Dragopan and the good thing about that is it's really like robust and waterproof and you got this little hood to protect the, the glass front glass here but you can use this as a bean bag as well so just put this down here and strap it to the lens and voila you got a bean bag my main goal is to have some backlight but the biggest problem now is especially before the sun is a little bit lower it's really hard to see anything duck I can see is the tufted duck. You have like two different kind of ducks. You have the diving ducks and the grassing ducks. And the diving ducks is a little bit more easy to sneak up on. But the grassing ducks, they don't dive down. So you cannot like do the same strategic when they dive down and can run to your position. With the grass duck, like the common teal, you have to plan out 
And the thing that I did last time without any camouflage, I just uh, went to a place and I knew that they were on the other side of this little pond here, uh, in between the grass. I was just laying here and depending that some time, it could be one hour, two hours, they would like pass by me here. And luckily that was faster than I thought. But that's the only way to like photograph them. You cannot like try to sneak up on them. You just need to be in the position and let the bird comes your way. I managed to sneak up to some some common deals. They are so skittish. So I'm lucky to be this close. There's a lot of grass and vegetation around me here. So hopefully I am enough concealed that they are swimming past me. I cannot talk too much. Oh, okay. This is awesome. comes a meal. It's like so hard to block here because I cannot move a muscle almost. And I constantly need to hide my face behind the camera. I don't have any camouflage with me because I didn't expect to get the deal here. But I think I got some really cool images of this beautiful little duck. And uh, yeah, sometimes it's good to just yeah, be present and take some pictures and I love vlogging and showing you guys everything but sometimes it's not easy to do both with really shy species. I think I got some cool images, but I have no idea how they are. Let's have a look. There was one male floating by me. Oh yeah, there he is. There he is. Oh, it's sharp. It's sharp. Really nice colors. Hmm?
Skillshare is an online learning community. This is a great place for learning new stuff. You can find so many topics, all from photography, videography, cooking and languages, all you can think of. And for the moment, I am taking a course on how to tell a story through the videos. And Dan Mays is an award winning filmmaker and has worked with a lot of people, including Casey Neistat. And I think he explains it in a really understandable way. And the great thing is that you can test this out. So the first thousand people to use the link or my code TRONVESPI will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. So thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video.